This is Dr. Jason Emmer, a cosmetic dermatologist who specializes in liposuction, laser, and fillers here in my office, the Roxbury Institute in Beverly Hills. And I'm talking today about a special case, a patient of mine named Lisa. I flew in from New Jersey. I'm 50 years old. Um, and I'm coming in to have Dr. Emmer do three um, lipedema surgeries on me. Lipedema is a syndrome of painful fat that causes fat enlargement and pain in multiple areas of the body particularly the torso, stomach area, the arms, and the legs. I had always had issues in trying to lose weight and my legs was never able to, regardless of any diets or anything I tried. Lisa is a special case where she's more advanced, has a severe form of lipedema that gives her genetically enlarged fat cells in multiple areas of her body along with symptoms such as pain and swelling. This procedure requires not only the removal of fat but consideration of skin tightening because in conditions like lipedema, the skin can become very loose and lax in multiple areas, requiring a number of surgeries for improvement. I have had heavy legs since puberty and never knew what it was. I'd always been told by doctors it's just the way my body type was and to try to diet and exercise, which I did. Um, and I consistently lost weight, but always on the top half of my body. You want to protect the vessels and lymphatics with lipedema, so we use a water-assisted device called BodyJet that allows me to numb the area and lift the tissue away from the blood vessels so that we can remove the fat quite easily. And then the second step is the consideration of the skin tightening. For her, we want to be able to tighten skin because she's more severe lipedema, where she has a lot of looseness in certain areas wherever she has the lipedema. And so we use an ultrasound assisted device called Vaser that literally melts that fat and gets rid of the lipedema at the same time it's tightening the skin. And then the last part is to help improve her cellulite. All women really hate cellulite cosmetically, but it can affect the lipedema because it can make the fat more disproportionate in those areas. And we're using a new device called Selfina that's literally a device that goes under the skin and lifts the connective tissue, these, the scar that's holding down these, the skin causing the dimples in the cellulite. After liposuction procedures for lipedema, you should expect that you'll have a lot of bruising and swelling. Especially with lipedema, the swelling can be much more significant, but amazingly, the pain that people experience prior to surgery usually decreases uh, very quickly. The initial um, outcomes have been excellent, and I'm just anticipating that over the next few months, I'll see even more improvements. I did have some uh, discomfort during some of the surgeries, and as soon as I let him know, he made modifications to uh, make me more comfortable, so I felt really confident each time going in that my care was uh, their top priority. You have to have a lot of consideration for the skin tightening, the blood vessels and the lymphatics, and understanding of the cellulite and the medical conditions that go along with the lipedema. I'm thrilled that I chose Dr. Emmer. Um, I felt even before I met him that I had made the right decision. After each of the surgeries, he was very, very concerned that I was happy with how everything was going and that my questions and concerns were answered. And I know for me that I would, would never have chosen another surgeon. There's many doctors that say they do liposuction or treat lipedema patients, but you want to find someone with significant experience that uses multiple devices, uh, like we are using the body jet, the water device, the ultrasound device, and now the Selfina device. In combination, you get a much better result than doing just traditional approaches alone. So it's extremely important you pick the most skilled, the most detailed physician, and also somebody that's going to have a relationship with you, that's going to be a part of the healing process. It's not just a procedure. It's a journey.